Okay, just pulled the uh, boat out of the barn. And we're going to start it up for the first time this year. It's a 305 or 228 Mercruiser. Uh, has uh, new exhaust manifolds. Uh, brand, or brand new carburetor on it. Uh, it's a marine carburetor. Uh, has a new ignition coil. Brand new battery. This was all done just last year when I say brand new. Uh, just had oil change right before winter. New spark plug wires. So, okay, here we go. Fires right up. Get your throttle button here. Push the. Uh, sorry about the uh, camera work. Let's set it down here for a second. Idle's nice. Everything runs good. There's no leaks that I can see. was docked all last year at Indian Lake and I didn't have any leaks on the boat. Uh, stayed nice and dry inside. Has a new sump pump, or bilge pump, I'm sorry. It's right down there. Like I said, it's got new uh, New exhaust manifolds and risers and uh, it's just really a good running little boat. Uh, the blower works. I don't know if you can hear that working, but it's working. Horn works. All the gauges are working. You can see he's still got about five-eighths uh, of a tank of gasoline left from last year. The uh, temperature gauge does work, but it, r it runs really, really cool. Uh, I mean, I can, I can run it for quite a while until it's hot, and I can still put my hand right on the exhaust manifold and not get burned. I mean, it's... It runs nice and cool. Idle's nice. And when you're just sitting at the, it, the idle sits at about 750. It's about where it should be. See the voltage gauge works good. Oil gauge works good. Trim senders, uh, they work. Panel lights work. Now the lighter even works on it. Let me get all your fuses right here. Uh, it does have a new stereo. 
and there's a docking station, an iPhone. It has a remote with the stereo. Uh, the depth finder does not work. It's old. Uh, it never worked ever since I had the boat, so I just never removed it. Uh, the shift lever, the, the backing plate right here where it says Quicksilver, it was a plastic plate, that's missing. But I mean, it really is a good running boat. We've done a lot of skiing with it and uh, tubing. You can hear now the, the bilge pump is running. Trim pumps in good shape. Everything's been gone through on it. All the wiring. Uh, I believe the switch on the trim unit, the up button, does not work, or it works intermittently. Uh, so what I do is, when I have to raise the out drive, I usually use the trailer. I hit the trailer button, and it will come up. You can hear it running back there. And you can see that the trim does move on the, the gauge. If I put it back down, you'll see the needle. Showing up now. And there it is going down. That was my fault. I had the, the key off. <laughs> but okay, here's uh video of the interior on the boat all put back in uh, as you can see it's it's in good shape there's no like big rips or anything like that I mean there's a few few little wear spots and places that were repaired like right there uh, it's all been like that since I've owned the boat there is some paint stains on the seat the last owner said he was painting his garage I guess and he got some spots on the seat I never really bothered with them. There's a little tiny mark there. But all in all, the stitching and everything's pretty good. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. The boat's a 1982, so... <laughs> stitching on the, on the driver's seat, you know, right there is starting to come apart a little bit. I mean that can be restitched. But all in all the interiors in pretty good shape. You know the carpets carpets decent. It could use cleaned. I just basically vacuumed it. I mean, we we fish out of the boat and everything, so <laughs> try to keep it clean. But there's a little compartment here for storage. Uh, I do have the safety kit and uh, the flares with the boat. The flares are good till uh, September of 2019. 
I don't know if you can see that or not. They were manufactured uh, 2016, April 2016. They're good till September 2019. So you won't have to buy flares. Uh, I have the safety kit for it. Uh, I have an anchor for it. I've got everything you need to be out on the water. So that all goes with the boat. You have storage under the seats. And I do have life preservers. I think I've got seven of them. Because the uh, capacity on the boat is seven. And then you have the open bow up here. And there's storage under these seats. I usually keep the fenders up there. And the tow lines. And I keep the, the anchor up front in the bucket. So. But you can see there's no rips in any of these front seats. And they're in pretty good shape also. This center window that uh, goes between there, I have it in the barn. Uh, there's a hinge right here, and the pin broke on the hinge. You can see right there where it came off. And it just need, it needs a new pin put through both sides. I always left it out because it was kind of a pain having the window there. <laughs> like earlier, I showed you all the gauges and everything work. Uh, the depth finder does not work. But all in all, it's a good boat. It has the ski pole. The anchor light does work. The radio is only about two years old, I think. And uh, it has the flip down cover to dock your phone and Bluetooth and all that stuff. So. And there's the remote for it. And then you have another little storage compartment there. And one in here. You get your cup holders. And then you also have storage in the sides over here. And your ski locker. Which I usually store, you know, this. I have a, a beat up prop there in case you need it. And then uh, I have a 12 volt vacuum down there, so when that's docked, I can vacuum the carpet and whatnot. So, but it is starting to right here. The fiberglass is starting to come up a little bit right there, but it just needs basically re-poured. So I've never had a problem with a leak on the boat or. Actually, the stringers on this boat are like really solid if you look up through the engine side. I actually put a camera up in there and they're solid. <laughs> the floors are all really solid on the boat and you can Usually by the driver's seat where it gets mushy, it's all solid. You know, everything's solid. So if you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, my number is 330-304-2260. My name is Ron. Be happy to answer any questions about the boat. I think the price I'm asking is a pretty fair price. I mean, I've looked at uh, just engines for Mer Cruisers, uh, 305s, and they go $1,500. Uh, you can't find one for less than that. So I think for a whole boat, I'm asking a pretty, pretty reasonable price.